holy shit, it's 2020. Um, <coughs> and I live. I haven't uploaded a video for like three weeks, four weeks, a year, I don't fucking know. I went to the Philippines on December 5th. I came home on December 14th with a stomach bug and the flu that both kept me down for three weeks. <coughs> it is New Year's Day when I'm filming this and it is the first time that I have felt like almost a regular human. I still have a debilitating cough. I still feel hot and sweaty and a little gross, but I put a face on and I'm ready to film. So sorry I haven't been around, but uh, it's been a little sickly around here. I feel like my camera's really fucking high. I'm just gonna angle it down and see what happens. Like, is that too much of my body? Do you wanna see my little buns? So yesterday was New Year's Eve. I didn't do anything. This was the look I wanted to wear for New Year's Eve, even though I wasn't going anywhere. I was still gonna be hanging out at home, still wanted to look cute, but I ended up having a nap in the middle of the day and I took my medicated cough syrup and I woke up at 7 p.m. and I was groggy and tired and didn't end up doing anything. So you get it today instead. Uh, today I'm filming a super late what I got for Christmas video. Normally I don't film these types of videos. I feel like I'm really far away. Can I zoom you guys in a little bit? Hi, there we go, that's better. I normally don't film these videos because normally I don't ask for a lot of like beauty or fashion items, but this year I did get a couple beauty and fashion items for Christmas, so I thought I would haul those. It's a couple other things I'm not gonna show just because they don't relate to my channel and one of them is a desk chair that's in the hallway that I haven't put together yet. So. <laughs> That's a thing. Uh, but everything, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys like the beauty and fashion things I got for this video. I might film a try on for the fashion stuff, but just like thinking about filming a try on right now has me sweating. So I, I probably won't film a try on, just straight up. Sorry. <coughs> Not today, Satan. Not today. Um, so there will be no disclaimer if you don't like what I got for Christmas videos get over it and don't watch this. Uh, also, basically for Christmas, me and my husband do Christmas here in the morning and then we go to my mom's house and we do Christmas there. So I'll do the stuff my husband got me first and then I will go into my other Christmas. Uh, so the first thing I opened from my husband was the Melt Cosmetics Muerte palette. Now I normally don't ask for makeup for holidays and I don't know why because like that seems stupid. I'm a makeup junkie, I should ask for makeup, but it's kind of one of those things where I'm like, if I want it, I'll buy it. But this year I was like, I'm just gonna make a list of the shit I want and put it in a list and people who want to buy me shit can buy me shit because that's so much more easy and respectful than expecting people to know what you want. Just straight up. You can't be disappointed if you make a list. <coughs> Not that Christmas is about getting gifts or whatever, but like, it kind of is. Um, so I've been eyeing the Melt Muerte palette for months now as soon as it was like literally teased six months ago and then they released it on black friday so i put it on my list and like my husband actually went into a sephora and bought this for me which if you know him is a big fucking deal he doesn't know what to do in a sephora so if you haven't seen this palette like first of all the packaging is gorgeous these colors are just everything to me in the fall i was really looking for a good fall palette and for me what a fall palette is is something with deep dark burgundy berry tones and it was so hot and like nothing no palette had tones dark enough for what I was looking for and then I saw this and I was like this is everything I want on Christmas I actually wore this red shade Carazin with uh Lagrimas and Angelito or Angelito um so it was like red and green and it was super cute and I absolutely loved it I've only worn this palette one time on Christmas because like I said I've had the plague <clears throat> for the past three weeks so putting my makeup on has been not a priority that's why I went so overboard today because I haven't worn makeup in so long that I, I missed it I also haven't washed my hair since Christmas so you're getting this look you're welcome see so yeah, I got the melt makeup um where did I call it melt is a little bit pricey like I think this is like $75 or $77 which is steep for like what is it three six nine ten eyeshadows but their palettes are beautiful the packaging is beautiful their actual shadows work really well so i'm excited for this palette because i really don't think i have 
much of these tones in my or like these colors in my collection like this foresty green these mint greens even like this red and these burgundies like ugh, the blues i'm so excited to keep playing around this what a beautiful palette absolutely to die for <coughs> okay and then my husband also got me a my chemical romance t-shirt um if you haven't heard they reunited and my little emo heart grew five sizes and as my husband said you won't shut up about it so i bought you this t-shirt this is a the black parade t-shirt um he got it from hot topic it has all the songs on the back it's in a size medium i actually wore this on christmas just tied up with a pair of like plaid pants i was super emo um so i might crop it i might just keep it like it is and just tie it just because i don't really think i, I don't know if i want to cut some of the songs off on the back or not but yeah we love My Chemical Romance. When I was in high school, I had the opportunity to see them with the used, and I didn't, and I don't know why I didn't, but it's my biggest regret to this day. So, we got a My Chemical Romance t-shirt. Emo girls, you know what's up. Um, and then he got me some shirts from American Eagle. Did I help him pick them out? I won't tell you. Um, <laughs> basically, American Eagle has become like my new favorite store. It's so weird. I never shopped there like my whole entire life because it's just such like a preppy store and so not my scene. But I discovered their curvy jeans earlier this year and they literally transformed my life because nothing has hit me up better than the curvy jeans ever in my whole entire life. So um, then I bought a sweater there earlier this year that I really liked. So it was a couple things I wanted. Um, the first thing I got was just this American Eagle cropped sweater. I will link everything, all the clothing down below that I can find. Um, it's like a nice knit sweater. I believe this is fake wool. I'm pretty sure I checked because I'm allergic to wool. It makes me itchy as a motherfucker. So I'm pretty sure this is probably like acrylic. Let's check. It's 75% acrylic, 25% nylon. So yeah, totes fake. It's a nice like cute sweater. But what I like about it is that it's not... Like, this is how long it is from the bottom of the sleeve. So it's, like, cropped and boxy, which is right up my alley because, like, I'm at a point in my life where I don't want to wear full-length full shirts. Fuck them. Um, so I love the idea of this sweater. It's so cute, and I'm pretty sure these are all on sale right now in the clearance section at American Eagle. American Eagle is always on sale. Never buy shit for full price, okay? Trust a girl. So, yeah, I got this sweater. I don't know how much it was. I believe they were having 40% off before um like for black friday until christmas so we love it and i got this in a medium and i find that like their oversized sweaters are pretty oversized so you don't really need to size up or anything because medium is my regular size and then speaking of sweaters i got two of the same sweater that i already own one of lol so i picked up this like puke green sweater earlier this year i actually saw bought it because robbie christie has it and so does atlee and he did it <coughs> So it's called like the, it's like Amazingly Soft or anything or something. Yeah, it's called uh, Amazingly Soft, your new favorite sweatshirt. And so I asked for it in this disgusting burnt orange color. What's weird about this is that it says, it says in this high here, jegging fit. And I'm not sure if American Eagle knows this or not, but a sweater can't fit like jeggings because... It's a sweater. This is like perfectly oversized. It's a little bit long. I just like having plain sweaters like this to like just throw on because I'm really a t-shirt ass bitch and I don't really have too many like sweater sweaters like this one. And I just feel like t-shirts and hoodies while it's my like go-to aesthetic, it's not always appropriate. And so I like these for like if I have a meeting or something, I can just kind of throw this on with a pair of jeans and I'm still like a little bit like Put together or even just like if i'm going out somewhere and i don't want to wear a t-shirt because i'm going to be cold we stan this shirt it's so beautiful i love the color here's a cat it's Jalula. hey <coughs> so love that and then i also got it in black now the black one is a little bit different it doesn't say jegging fit and it's slightly shorter than the uh orange one i'm not sure why they had different descriptions on the website that like they were called different things but when you looked at them they looked the exact same so they're like super soft inside this one is a little bit less soft than the orange one but same thing just like a crew neck sweatshirt i love sweatshirts and hoodies so this is right up my fucking alley and i adore it the last clothing piece i got actually didn't come until after christmas so i was a little bummed about that um this is youtuber merch who am i i pulled this out of my dirty clothes so 
ignore the cat hair all over it but this is as I mentioned Atlee I'm obsessed with Atlee she's my favorite youtuber and I love her merch because it's not like Atlee it just like this is um her I'm stressed hoodie she has it in a bunch of other colors as you can see it just kind of says Atlee Co at the bottom um, it's just a hoodie. I got this in a size medium. Um, it's a little bit of a thin hoodie, which makes sense because she's come from California as a Canadian. For me, this is a thin hoodie, but like it'll be good kind of to be able to wear it through multiple seasons. It fits me really well as a medium. Um, they're like unisex sizing. My husband ordered this actually on Black Friday, and I don't think it shipped until like December 20th or something. Like he was like one of your things hasn't shipped and I was like you need to email them and so he emailed them and they were like oh like everything's made to order so they didn't ship it until really late in December and then so it did end up coming until I think two or three days after Christmas which is kind of a bummer like as a company you know orders coming in on Black Friday are for Christmas and when you see that like as a company you should be prioritizing international shipments because you know those take longer to get places than regular shipments so just a little feedback for her that I definitely think they should kind of take that into consideration next year. Also, like my husband did have to pay $22 for shipping, $20 US for shipping to Canada. And then he didn't get it in time for Christmas. So that's kind of a bummer. Like I get their print, they're printed to be made, but like to take almost a month to print is a little bit ridiculous. And I understand it's like a high volume time, but again, prioritize international shipping because stuff in America doesn't take long to get around, but getting across the border is a pain in the ass because it gets stuck at customs and so this made it to the border on December I think it made it it made it to the border on December 24th and got stuck at customs until after Christmas so like if they would have just shipped it a couple days earlier I would have been able to have it for Christmas but I didn't so I love the sweater just kind of like I understand that like as a youtuber you're not a brand so you don't think about stuff like this but like I've worked in customer service for 12 years so this shit is always up in my brain and like I know that you need to prioritize professional shipments around Christmas time because shipping is awful around Christmas time so yeah just a little feedback but other than that absolutely love the sweater I love Allie she's a great youtuber um you should definitely check her out she's kind of like I don't want to say weird but like she does like fun colors and like she's kind of funky like my aesthetic so and I love this hoodie it just says like I'm stressed on it and it's casual she also has a scene dreams one which I kind of like but it's like blue and red and I didn't really love the color scheme too much so I kind of stuck more with that I liked the red one when she came out with it. She has a bunch of other colors, like the mustard orange one, or mustard yellow one I kind of liked, but the red one was it for me. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna show you that my husband picked me up was a pair of shoes from Torrid. These are called the, it literally just says 4B Black PU Combat BTIE. Combat booty, I guess. So they're just called combat boots. There's nothing miraculous about them. This is what they look like. Um, I, have fat calves hi um <coughs> I can't find boots anywhere I don't want to tell you how much time and energy I have spent in my life trying to find boots that fit my fat calves it has always been a struggle for me and it has always been disheartening to see boots on shelves or see boots that say wide cap and try them on and just have them not fit properly it's really fucking annoying like even back when I was a smaller size I still couldn't find boots to fit my um ankles and calves so it was always annoying and then I think two years ago I bit the bullet and I bought a pair of torrid boots the issue is they don't carry small sizes. There's Torrids in Canada, but they don't carry a lot of the shoes in store and they don't carry like small sizes. Like I went and asked him for a size six and the girl was like, we don't carry that size in store. And I was like, this isn't, Shoe shoes aren't plus size. Like plus size people don't only have large feet. That's not how this works. <coughs> so I ordered them online and Torrid, if you're watching this, your online shipping to Canada is ridiculous. It costs $50 to ship online to Canada. There are stores in Canada. The stores can't ship items to their store for you and you can't ship items to pick up in stores, but they charge you $50 to ship to Canada. So I ordered a pair of boots and truthfully they're the best boots I've ever bought. They fit me perfectly. They're magical and I absolutely love them. Um, so this year, 
the like white knockoff Doc Martens were a trend and I really wanted them but I tried on a bunch of pairs and I realized that even though they're much shorter than like a knee high like riding boot which is what I had ordered from Torrid before they still don't work on my legs because they just like splay open at the top and look stupid so I was really disheartened that I couldn't find a pair of boots that fit me and also Doc Martens doesn't make their boots in a sat in a wide cap so like I couldn't even buy the original ones and pay more money for them which is also fucking annoying Doc Martens high make wide calf boots at least available on your fucking website your whole business is boots make them wide calf like it's so annoying that so many brands don't make wide calf or their wide calf version isn't actually wide calf at all it's just like slightly larger like no people need real wide calf boots fuck off so i was really upset because i wanted a pair of combat boots and it's so hard to find them and so i found these ones on tour and i was like i need these uh, when you when i look at them at first i'm like do you see how they kind of like they pinch in your ankle and then they go out which is how you know they'll fit your calves and also if you look at the back here there's actually there's always a stretchy panel in torrid boots and i love these ones because when i pulled them out at first i was like where's the stretchy panel how are these gonna fit but they're right here they have these like uh round laces which i don't like i'll probably swap them out just for flat straight laces because i like that look better but i always buy my boots in a size seven because i'm a size six or six and a half but with boots, I find that seven works better to kind of make sure that my ankle and my calf does fit. And then I just kind of throw an insole in them. And my other toured boots are a seven and they fit fine. So we got these in a seven. Again, my poor husband had to pay 50 US dollars to ship these to Canada. I'm pretty sure the boots were like $30 because on Black Friday toured with 50% off. <clears throat> so he paid the $50 for US shipping. And then on Cyber Monday, they had $20 shipping internationally. And he was like, I hate everyone. So... <laughs> That's the thing that happened, but I'm so in love with these boots. They're so beautiful. I'm so excited to have a pair of Comet boots that actually fit my fat legs. And I just wish that like more companies cared about people with fat calves. I would love to know if you guys know of any wide calf boots um, that are good, um, even if they're online. My issue is I'm so picky. Like I don't like, I like an edgier style and it's even harder to find wide calf versions of. So if you know of any, let me know down below because I'm always looking for places to find wide calf boots. Like if I could start my own company, I would love to start a wide calf boot company that like actually caters, that actually has like funky styles and caters to people. But at the same time, like that's such an expensive business to try to start a shoe company. Like shoes aren't cheap to make. <sighs> Rant over. Okay, so <laughs> next. From my mother. Then I went to my mom's Christmas. I got a couple things that like aren't beauty related, so I'm not going to show them. But I did ask for... The Glam Glow uh, Super Mud. This is my favorite mud mask and it's so expensive and I didn't want to have to buy it again and I was like, why don't I just ask for it for Christmas? My mom got me this set. It has the, can I open this? Is, oh, does it slide? Oh no, I'm falling apart. It's a magnet. It has the, um, what are these things? Oh, okay. So first it has the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Oxygenating Mask. That's fun. It has the uh, Glow Starter Moisturizer, which I've used before. I don't totally love it, but like cute to have a little sample of it. You've got your regular Glam Glow here. And this is just a, ooh, an exfoliating acid solution. That's fun. I love the Glam Glow Holiday Sets. They always like, they're like the same price as the actual um mud which i believe is like 75 to 79 dollars here in canada um but yeah it's so pricey so i asked for this for christmas and my mom got me this set so i'm super stoked because this will last me like a year but i don't have to buy it myself um the next thing my cat's gonna cry because um she's on top of it watch out boobs okay this is a sherpa sweater i don't know if i'll be able to show you i'll probably just put a picture of the model wearing it that's what I'll do. I'll put in pictures of like the models wearing the clothes because I don't want to have to do a try on in this video. My body just like isn't ready. So this is a Sherpa cardigan. I've wanted one of these for so long. I've literally been wearing this for a week and I'm pretty sure the tag is still on the back. Yeah, it is. Uh, this is from American Eagle also. I add this, added this to my mom's Christmas list because it was like $8.70 or something and I was like, that's expensive. My mom can buy that for me. So it's just like a hoodie. <laughs> my cat literally has one hand on the arm. It's long sleeve. It doesn't zip up the front or anything, but it has a big hood. It has big pockets. It's long. I do want to get a more like cropped version that has like the zipper up the front, but I absolutely love this. I've been lounging around the house in this. I've been wearing it out like when it's cold out, but not super cold. My, 
My cats love the Sherpa cardigans to sleep on, so my cat is currently pawing at it because she's like, bitch, this is my bed. So I'll give it back to her, but I'll put a picture in of it. It's so comfy. <laughs> I just put it on top of my cat. She doesn't know what to do with herself. Get out. Such a butt. Give me this. Here. You want this? <clears throat> it's so cozy and I absolutely love it. Could not recommend it more. I definitely want all the Sherpa cardigans. They're so soft. I'm scared to wash it though because like, you know when you wash the Sherpa blankets and they like get kind of funky? Also, my cat's gonna knead the shit out of it until I, until it's ruined. Okay, the last thing I have to show you just because it's so funny is I've got my pair of cat pajamas and I just want you to see that, um, first I pulled them out and I was like, oh my God, cat pajamas, so funny and cute. Um, but these are my actual cats. That's Tallulah. And that's Beatrix. And what's even funnier is my mom sent the my mom ordered these online and they did come from Hong Kong, so they literally probably won't fit me because they are a size medium. And because she didn't realize it was coming from China, she didn't think to order a size up. Because these these the mom said they said they would stretch to fit a waist size 41. Do you see the size? Like it might stretch to fit it, but like not comfortably. Now my cat is on my lap. This girl cannot get out of my grill. My mom said she sent a picture of my cats and she was like, I yelled at the girl because she was like, that's the same cat on there twice. But what's funny is my cats look totally different. So this is Tallulah. I'll show you her real quick. This is Tallulah. She is a tabby cat. And Beatrix is more gray toned and she has lots of white all over her stomach and body. But you don't, but they are sisters from the exact same litter and you don't realize how similar they look until you see their faces next to each other. Like those two cats do look like the same cat, but T Beatrix has more white in her face right here than Tallulah does. It's just so funny because when you look at them together, they're completely different cats. And then on this, my mom was like, that's the same cat. And I was like, no, it's not mom. Those are two different cats. So these are hysterical and so cute, but uh, I don't know if they'll fit me, so. I might have to like cut them up and make them a crop top or something. I don't know. So that is everything that I got for Christmas that is like related to this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you guys got for Christmas, what your favorite gift was, if you celebrate, if you don't celebrate, whatever. Um, I'm back in a live now, so I should be uploading videos soon. I will have my uh, top beauty products of 2019 probably up next week I have to like go through my channel and like I like to look at what I've used up and what I haven't to see what my favorite videos were of the year because I like usually like forget by the end of the year what I used this year it all kind of blurs together I was also thinking of doing like a top beauty products of the decade that will take some even more research so we'll we'll see and a lot of them I probably don't have anymore even if they are top products which I don't know does that count I don't know so yeah that's everything I got for Christmas. Hopefully someone watches this video, even though it won't be up until the beginning of January, <laughs> but your girl was dead. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.